Hey, this is my channel, Pleiadia Mystique. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. So, if you've just subscribed to my channel, I do intuitive readings. I use my intuition and clairaudiently hear the messages that are meant for you. And um, I do you versus them situations. So, take the messages as they resonate and flip the characters if you... If you desire to your situation and take the time to subscribe to my channel in the link below. If you would like a personal reading, please um, please email me or go to my website and book a reading online. I'm still doing one-on-one -on -one readings, but um, use your own discernment because these are general readings. Not every message will resonate, but take the messages that do as spirit might have something in here for you. Okay, so we're up to... Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. What is the message for Capricorn? What is your current situation, Capricorn? Okay, so we're trying to live in the here and now. I feel like big changes are coming and you're in between worlds right now. And I feel like something's being birthed. Could be a death rebirth situation here. You're in between your past and your future right now. And you're about to walk into the door and make a decision. You're at a crossroads. I feel like... You've been given an ultimatum possibly recently, Capricorn, and you're trying to make a decision on how to approach the situation. Let's get a clarifying card here. Hmm. Okay, I feel like it's really testing your patience, <laughs> whether you want to give up on the situation or whether you want to continue forward. Um, but I feel like Spirit is saying, um, have patience. It just wasn't the right time previously. There's something that's being birthed. We have an egg here. So I feel like the situation is quite fragile and it needs to be incubated for a little bit longer. I take that how that resonates. But I feel like um, there's two feminines on these cards. So I feel like this could be a masculine energy, not necessarily gender specific, but um, it could be a masculine energy um, making a decision about a feminine or also a pathway to take or maybe a pathway is opening up or a tunnel or you're finally seeing the light. It could be an awakening, I'm getting an awakening because we're moving towards a tunnel here. And I feel like this card to me is symbolic of um, taking a leap of faith. This is like the spiral in terms of the old um, and switching timelines, I'm getting, you know, that Austin Powers scene where he jumps into the time machine and it's that weird time machine where he just like, it, you know, he jumps and it's, I, that's what I'm getting. Like, are you going to jump into this timeline? Are you going to shift timelines? Are you going to live in the here and now? Or are you going to think about your future and let go of your past? I feel like you're at a crossroad right now where you're just really contemplating all those different choices. Capricorn. So what's your spirit animal that's currently with you? Okay, so a bit mysterious. So you're in the whale's energy and that's an 11. So that's about unity and harmony and you're trusting the great mystery. So whales are quite majestic, Capricorn. They're quite um, peaceful I personally think whales are beautiful. They're very graceful. They're very fluid as well. They're very um, emotional. So there's a lot of water with the whale energy. And the whales have their own song. So I actually feel like you and this other person might have a telepathic connection. You might have your own little song that you sing to each other. So it's an ancient creature as well. And... Whales have been here since the beginning of time. And basically, whale spirit is the keeper, singing the soul of the whole world from the deepest depths. So I feel like this is a really deep soul connection that has you a little bit bewildered. And basically... You have to accept this great mystery of your soul without intellectually trying to understand it. Some things cannot be known by the mind, only experienced through the heart and through intuition and through the peripheral senses that part the invisible veils separating the visible world from the great manifesting consciousness. So basically, Spirit is saying with this um, particular oracle card, 
your seeds of intentions are being tended to by the angels and you need to trust in the process of manifestation and have patience. Live in the here and now. Don't focus too much on the past or the present because what you have manifested is coming, Capricorn. Trust in the mystery and listen to the song of your soul. Um, so what else can I get for you? What's this in relation to? You just want to be happy or there's a person that makes you happy because we have another feminine on here. There's a little hummingbird here. I feel like you want to move towards your happiness. I feel like there's a person that makes you really happy. They're beautiful. They're fun. And they're standing on top of the egg. <laughs> so it's like you want to open this key to get to them and be happy and cross the finish line. But I feel like you're just stuck a little bit right now. Let's get another clarifying card on what's happening with you guys, why you're stuck. Oh, it's communication. It's about um, communicating with somebody else. Because they make you happy, but I feel like you haven't truly expressed this to them, Capricorn. It's about um, putting your thoughts into words, putting pen to paper is what I'm getting here. Letting them know how important they are to you. So I feel like you're a little bit stuck right now on how to approach the situation. How to get out of um, the fear of your past towards your future and walk through that door. And you know it starts with communication. Um, and you, you're kind of questioning why you feel the way you do and you don't really know what's happening to you. But the Spirit is saying have patience and trust in the great mystery because everything that you are desiring is, is coming to fruition and is going to manifest. So let's get a spirit animal card to see what else they want to tell you. Spirit has your back. So this is all about having faith in the universe. So the eagle spirit, uh, the eagles are messages from spirit. So I'm sensing like you're wondering if you can trust this whole divine guidance thing. It's like um, you don't know if you can trust your intu intuition because you've never done it before. You don't really understand it and you're kind of confused. And I feel like um, spirit is pushing you to communicate with this person, express your truth, um, express your feelings because Spirit has your back. They're going to support you in this decision. Maybe you haven't made good decisions for your highest good with other people. And um, you've settled for less than you deserve. And you've been in situations that didn't serve your highest good. And Spirit knows what's best for you. So all that stuff came crashing down. So Spirit wants you to take this leap of faith. Because this, this is your person. And you're going to be extremely happy with this person. All it's going to require is a bit of courage and trust and faith. So the eagles are flying high above other birds and they soar and they appear to ask you whether you're willing to soar to new heights, even if that means solitude for a short while. So all the wisdom of the world is available to you right now, Capricorn. When storms flash across the sky, it is the eagle spirit that raises you above it all and they're helping you conquer fear. So you've got spirit guides and eagle spirits with you right now trying to help you conquer your fear. And they're reminding you that spirit has your back and wants you to experience life at your fullest. So in this point in time, you're basically um, meant to know that you have the highest wisdom and courage within yourself. And it's been gifted to you by spirit and all the angels who are supporting you on your journey. They want you to boldly build your nest in a beautiful space. And they want you to know that you can fly effortlessly, proudly and embody the eagle spirit right now in your grace and glory and they want you to claim what is truly yours in divine timing so this is divine timing right now this is for you whatever you're going after they're coming in to let you know this is yours this is your happy happy place this is for you claim it have courage spirit has your back create this new journey this new beginning for yourself and i feel called to grab this card for some reason to see what they have to say yep so I feel like once you make this communication, this other person's going to be flexible and they're going to work with you. And see how we have so many eggs. We have all these eggs. So something's being birthed here. Three eggs. 
And I have been getting the death and rebirth card a lot lately. So I feel like your relationship is going through a transformation. It's it's in the incubation process now. It's been reborn. Both of you have transformed. The connection has transformed. And now you have an opportunity to start a new beginning. That's going to be really happy. And we've got three eggs here. So your relationship has gone through the birth canal cycle. This is the other thing. See here, there's an, a moon. So what I feel has happened, you've gone through the birth canal and you've been, your relationship has been birthed. It took a lot of patience, but it's been reborn. It's your happy place. So move towards it. Spirit has your back and the other person's going to be more flexible moving forward with you. So I'm going to get, I'll take this over to this extended now and see um, what else I can get for you guys and see what Spirit's message is right now correct your mistakes so you might have um, been wanting to communicate with someone to apologize but you're worried that things will still be the same I'm sensing that this was a handwritten note or apology or a text message. Spirit's guidance is correct your mistakes. They have your back. They're here to support you. Harness the courage of the eagle spirit. Trust the great mystery. Live in the here and now because this is your person and you'll be so happy once you do it. So they're pushing you to correct your mistakes. I'm going to take this over to the extended to see what else I can get for you um, in this situation. But all the best Capricorn and I hope that you find the courage to find the words that you need to say to this particular person. Love and light. Bye.